This brush, it's called Rock and Ruddle. I didn't clean it, so I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm hiding. <laughs> Hi, Us Weekly. It's Whitney Rose from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I am honored to invite you into my home and my bathroom and share my bedtime beauty sleep routine with you. It's no secret that I love my sleep and I love my beauty products, so I am so excited to share my routine with you that really helps calm me down and wind me down at night so that I can get a good night's sleep. Um, first of all, I start off with my steamer. I love my Vanity Planet steamer. Um, I just turn this on and put it a couple feet away from my face. Um, I wanna be careful because I have melasma and too much heat can actually express my melasma. Um, but it just helps open up the pores and um, prep your skin to get a deeper cleanse. It helps your serums penetrate deeper. I love it. I always start my routine with a cup of tea. Um, go St. Mary's, this is my alma mater. Um, I actually just worked out and I took a bath, um, but I wanna share with you, I thought it would be kind of weird if I started filming in the bath, but I just wanna share with you one of my favorite body secrets is I brush before I bath. Um, brushing your skin, it helps your circulation, it helps exfoliation, um, it's so good for your skin, um, it helps produce more collagen, elastin, Overall, it's so good for anti-aging and detoxifying your skin. Um, I just did a bath with Epsom salt um, for a little detox. So to begin, I like to cleanse my face with my Wild Rose Beauty Gentle Cleanser. Um, this is my all-time favorite cleanser. I've been using it exclusively for five years since I started my company. Um, it is full of botanicals, enzymes, um, it has so much vitamins and nutrients for your skin, so it not only does it clean your skin and get sort of your makeup and oil, um, it's feeding the skin the vitamins and nutrients that it needs to help repair and rebuild itself. So there's no glamorous way of doing this. I just get down and get my face completely wet, and I just rub all this goodness together. I start just by all over my skin, I should probably turn the water off to conserve water. But I just get a really good lather going and make sure I draw it all the way down my decollete and neck. Um, circular motions, I get that steam. It feels so good, it's like an at-home spa experience. And I love this cleanser so much because it's, it has sandalwood and other essential oils in it. And it just smells so yummy and it feels so yummy. So. After I work my face a bit, I turn on my water and I literally run this over my eyes to get off my mascara. You can see I kind of sweat off most of my makeup already and then sitting in the bath, most of it came off. But I literally just go over my eyes. I don't really use makeup remover. I just use my cleanser and I use my fingers to break up my mascara. I don't really wear much makeup day to day. Um, but if I've had my makeup done in full glam moment, then I'll actually use Vaseline to take my makeup off. But I just wash my face. I always use, use a dark washcloth so that when I do have a glam moment, my makeup doesn't stain my cloth. I love white towels and linens, but there's nothing worse than a good makeup or spray tan uh, stain. Sometimes I'll cleanse, I'll actually cleanse twice I'll use my gentle cleanser twice. Um, that's a new trend in the beauty industry is double cleansing. Some people like to use their cleanser twice. Some people like to use an oil balm and then a cleanser or a cleanser of micellar water. Um, but my skin is filling my poor little cheekies. I have food allergies and I was so bad and I ate gluten. So now I have red cheeks. That's where those come from. But we're going to address those in a minute. Um, my skin is feeling really clean and plump, so I'm only gonna single cleanse tonight. I like to follow up with my Wild Rose Beauty Toner. This is full of all the vitamins um, that you need for your skin. It has hydration, but the most important thing about a toner is that it not only is a second cleansing, um, it minimizes your pores and it preps your skin by returning it to its original pH levels that 
are really gonna help your serums absorb and get maximum benefits for your serums. So, something I did that I like is I did a spritzer on my toner. So you can either just spritz it directly on your face or you can put it on a pad and just draw it over your face. It's so yummy. I have very, very, very sensitive skin and very dry skin. So it's important for me to use products that aren't going to strip my skin of its natural oils because I need them. As you can see, just touching my face makes it red. Um, I'm gonna look very red after all of this, all the things we're doing tonight because I have been stressed out, I've been busy, so we're doing all the things tonight because I'm feeling like I need an extra boost. All right, I even like to brush my face. So after I'm clean, I'm fanatic about this, I keep my brush clean, I never use it when I haven't cleansed my face. But you just go in outward motions on your face. Um, I learned this actually on a cruise ship. I was in the spa on a cruise ship and I had a facial and they brushed my skin and I swear ever since then, it I haven't stopped and it truly has like transformed the texture of my skin. You can see I'm getting a nice circulation. I'm red. The blood is pumping to the surface and that's what we want. That's good, we want blood flow there. At night, I'll often rotate whether I do a derma, um, derma-like needling, so it's like a, a needling at home, or a jade roller with um, some of my serums. Um, tonight, I'm very sensitive and irritated. Like I said, I have food allergies and I was naughty and ate um, my allergens. So I'm going to start with um, my favorite must have in every skincare routine, hyaluronic acid. And of course I'm using mine. Um, it's my favorite, one of my favorite products we have. It's one of my top selling products. So I just put some in my palm. You just dab it onto your skin and it's just that yummy, dewy, yumminess. So with serums, it's really important. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my steam um, off now. But with serums, it's really important to use your serums thinnest to thickest in consistency. So you're definitely gonna wanna start with your hyaluronic acids before you're moving into your moisturizers. Um, that way your skin can receive maximum absorption and penetration of your serums for maximum results. Um, because I am irritated and I'm obsessed with peptides, if you don't have peptides in your skincare routine, you need to add them because they are amino acids for the skin. Much like how bodybuilders go to the gym and work out their muscles and then they take BCAAs um, or protein to rebuild their muscles, Peptides are the amino acids for the skin, the protein for the skin. And my oxygen serum is loaded with three different kinds of peptides, as well as a bunch of hydrators. But what, what this does is it helps your skin, the oxygenation of your skin, literally helps your skin breathe. So anyone with um, blemish prone skin, dry skin, rosacea, eczema, you need this to heal your skin. And I just do, a couple drops, just like my hyaluronic, and I just dab it onto my skin. I never really rub serums in. I like to dab them, and I'll leave it. I'll leave it on the surface and just let it absorb in on its own. It looks like I still have a little mascara. Maybe I needed to whip out the Vaseline tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna do my jade roller. I, I love a good skin oil. This one's from my old line Iris and Bow, but lately um, this has a bunch of vitamin C and antioxidants in it. But lately I've been using just pure rosehip oil from Sprouts. I'm obsessed with rose hips. It's one of the most healing um, ingredients out there. It smells yummy. It's like liquid gold for the face. And I've just been playing around with applying just straight rosehip oil and I've been loving it. So I'll alternate, I'll do like a little combination of the rose hip and then my anti-aging oil that has the vitamin C in it. 
Um, and I'll just kind of mix it together. Again, just dab it on the spoon. And then I use my jade roller. You can put yours in the freezer um, if you feel like you need some added cooling and if you're feeling inflamed or red or irritated, it's gonna help calm the skin and it just feels so yummy. Um, so I really like to roll in my rosehip oil and skin oil. I look greasy, but I'm not. It's actually a very light layer of oil. Um, and eventually it'll just absorb all into the skin. Um, so I like to roll that in, get under the under eye. Okay, and I don't know about you, but I'm a fanatic about my eyebrows. I get them laminated, and I tell you, I have a bit of a wave in my hair, and whenever I laminate my eyebrows, they go crazy curly. So I'm obsessed, like I have to brush my eyebrows. I know that sounds so weird, but with them being laminated, they get crazy. So I like to comb them, and then I'll set them in with um, a little aquaphor at my nightstand. So as you can see, I have a nice, beautiful uh, bedtime glow going. I always use my Wild Rose Beauty Glow. This moisturizer is the thing that made me start my line. It has changed my skin. It is the most hydrating moisturizer I've ever used without being um, greasy or sticky. It's loaded with vitamin E and vitamin C, so they work together to combat um, aging. Those two together make each other more powerful. And it has these really cool ingredients called DMAE and MSM. DMAE um, is the first ingredient um, proven to help your cells communicate faster. So people take it in supplement form, people take it um, in their powder drinks, energy drinks, because what it does is it helps your cells communicate faster. So when applied to the skin, which is going to plump and firm your skin, it's going to help your wrinkles even out. And MSM is a really, really cool ingredient. We all need to know what it is because it's the first ingredient proven to reduce skin sag. And we all live on planet Earth. We all experience gravity and aging. Um, so we all need MSM. My skin is feeling amazing. Um, I don't really do eye creams. I just put my moisturizer all the way up and dab it in. And of course, I always brush my teeth, but I don't know about you, I hate brushing my teeth in front of people. I prefer to hide and lock myself in the bathroom and brush my teeth, so I'm gonna skip that one for now. Two of my favorite nighttime masks that I absolutely have been loving so much is the SkinCeuticals Phyto Facial Mask. This is brilliant for anyone um, who has extremely sensitive, irritated skin like I do. As you can see, I get rosacea on my cheeks. I love to sleep in this. Um, or after you get treatments, if you get do micro needling, hydrofacials, this is an amazing post-treatment mask. Um, it's full of phytoenzymes and um, amazing, amazing nutrients and peptides. And this is a new one that I've been loving. It's the Watermelon um, Glow Night Mask. I'm gonna do a little bit of this one tonight because um, it's pink and it's cute and I've been testing it out. I've been actually really, really liking it. So I just put a layer over my, um, my glow and oil. I mean, look at this. I like to go to bed looking wet. Like I just came from the spa because I feel like the more moisture I can pound into my skin right before I go to sleep, the more that I wake up feeling like I got my beauty rest and brighter skin, plumper skin, my red cheeks will be gone and I'll be looking like a million bucks. But we can't forget about the hair. I have been on quite the hair journey this year. Um, my hair was fried off um, with bleach. I had what we call a chemical cut. So I usually have very bright platinum blonde hair and I've been rocking a little bit more of a natural, um, natural rooted look. 
which I cannot believe how dark my hair is getting. It's insane. I used to have like naturally very light hair. So my hair is getting darker um, the older I get, but I still don't have any grays. But okay, this brush, it's called Rock and Ruddle. I didn't clean it, so I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm hiding. <laughs> this brush has been a game changer for me. It's like um, a cheaper verse version of the Michael Mason or you know that really expensive brush that everyone raves about. Um, I like to just stand and brush my hair, give it a few good strokes. Um, this, what this does is it stimulates your scalp. It exfoliates your scalp and it pulls your own skin hair oil from the root down to the ends. And so it actually is helping your own hair oil repair itself. And you can see like how instantly smooth and shiny um, it's making my hair and it feels so good. I don't know about you, but I love a good scalp massage or scalp scratch. But I also put a serum on my hair every night this is the uh, Kerastase Nightly Hair Mask. They actually have one for blondes, exclusively for blondes too, but I actually like just the regular one. It's called the 8 Hour Magic Night Serum. And what I do is I just start at the ends. I pull it. I like to really focus on my damaged spots, which is the top layer of my hair. I like to just really rub it in. Um, concentrated in those areas. You get these little baby wispies. This stuff, it not only smells so good, it has transformed my hair. I swear to you, I take liquid collagen too every morning, but this, between the brush collagen and this hair serum, I feel like my hair is finally bouncing back. Um, but, and you can see it doesn't leave it like greasy or anything like that. It's just absorbs right into the hair. It's an amazing serum. So that is it for my um, bathroom beauty sleep routine. Let's head on over to my bedroom and I'll show you what I do to calm my mind. All right, as you can see, my skin is nice and glowy and uh, so hydrated, ready for some beauty sleep. But we cannot forget about the lips. Um, this stuff is my favorite. Buxom lip gloss, I wear it every day. My favorite color is Dolly. I get asked about it a lot, but I even use it at night. This has collagen peptides. It's amazing. It's an amazing lip serum. I'm obsessed with it. I can't go to sleep without it. Another few things that I do every single night, along with my um, restful sleep tea, I take supplements. Some of my favorite um, for anxiety, stress, and just overall sleep is kava kava. I take magnesium. And these are my favorite, Relaxia. It has lemon balm and melatonin in it that really just helps calm me down um, so I can get a good night's sleep. I, it is very important for me to work on not only my beauty, my outward beauty, my skin, my hair, um, but also I work on my spirit and my mind and I always like to calm myself down with the day by reading inspirational um, books or I like to really take the time at night to meditate, to be still, to be calm, to listen to my thoughts and my feelings, process them, work through them. And something I've been working on right now, it's called Working Your Light. Um, this is by Rebecca Campbell. Light is the New Black, this book. If you want to talk about manifesting light, love, and abundance in your life, this book is a game changer. And I have her oracle cards, and I like to um, use these oracle cards. They're, they're a gorgeous deck, but it's uh, the artwork is gorgeous. They're amazing, but what I do is I set an intention or something that I'm working on, um, you know, financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is, I set an intention, intention and I ask questions to myself or you know, things that I want answers to or things I wanna work on. Or sometimes I just draw a card and read what it means. But I really try to set my night, my beauty sleep, 
with the intention of um, reducing stress, getting a good night's sleep, you know, everything will work itself out tomorrow. Um, I have a really hard time turning off my brain, so this really helps me, and I have been manifesting beautiful, beautiful things into my life and really um, working on um, my light. So I um, will read it for a little bit, and I have this new mask that I've been using. I'm a very light sleeper. I have blackout shades um, in my room, but I still wake up if there's any sort of light sound. I am the worst. I am such a light sleeper. I sleep with a sleep app called Sleep Fan. Um, I blast that up um, and I put on my Luna eye mask and it really helps me to just turn off my brain and get a good night's sleep. Another thing is I'm huge on crystals. As you can see, I have a smoky quartz here next to my bed. It is cleansing, it's calming, it's purifying. It's said to get rid of nightmares and stress and drama. So we all know I have a lot of drama in my life. So I keep this one on my nightstand and I have rose quartz at the foot of my bed for love, communication, and purity. So I think that's it. Um, I am ready to get my beauty sleep. I love you all, sending you the best vibes. But it is time to turn the lights out. Good night, love you.